Hello and welcome to the Sepova channel. Um, I recently started doing a challenge to do at least one painting a day, uh, basically to just better my acrylic painting skills. So uh, the two video or the two different paintings that are in this clip are both done in acrylic paints. This popcorn kernel I'm using uh, a warm gray paint, titanium white, cadmium yellow, raw sienna. And that's basically it. I listed those at the very beginning of the video. So basically, this is just a really, really quick video, uh, I guess, of me painting this popcorn kernel. Um, I started with the lightest layer of warm gray and titanium white and went over just all of the sections that I drew out. And then I went in and added um, the cadmium yellow and some raw sienna to get the oranger parts in there. It was kind of an interesting, it was an interesting painting. Um, I've never really painted like a food like that before. So it was, it was hard. It took me a little bit over an hour, um, but it was kind of fun. And I think that, you know, obviously by repetition and uh, consistency, I will just continue to get better. But feel free to uh, draw your own popcorn kernel or draw something else. This is basically just a video to show what I'm working on and you can follow along or just watch or listen to me talk, whatever is your fancy. Um, I kind of skipped through this video just to basically show. I also was um, recording this on the wrong side since I'm right-handed. I should have been recording this from the left side, but Anyway, so that's why my hand is in the way for most of this one, which is another reason why I wanted to really fast forward this and time lapse it so that, and you can see that I stopped it on a lot of different parts um, where there's just the painting showing. So you can see how I have progressed as I've been working on it. Um, it was a pretty quick painting, really simple, no background or anything, just quite literally just a popcorn kernel. Um, I think in the future I it would be cool to try and do something like this again but maybe in different colors um, with an actual background or something like more context to the painting I think. Um, I think that that would be really beneficial. I'm also using some new brushes. I don't really remember what the brand was but I will list it in the description below. Um, speaking of brushes, I have so, so many of them. And I have lots of, you know, flat brushes, angled, round, um, just a huge variety so that I can, well, it's just better to have a bigger variety so you have more options in what you are doing. But yeah, anyways, I just wanted to say that I am probably just going to be doing voiceover since it's easier to watch the video back and talk versus trying to talk while I'm painting. So, and actually while I was painting, I was actually listening to an audiobook. Um, and I actually highly recommend doing that if you're doing something that doesn't really require a lot of like attention or focus. I mean, I guess painting does require attention and focus, but it doesn't require, like, you know, you can just mindlessly work on painting um, and listen to a book. So, while I was painting today, I was also listening to my book. Um, and actually, I, I really have a thing with material things and wanting to read the physical book. However, I find that uh, recently I don't have a lot of time to actually sit and read books. I still do, but it's a lot more convenient when I'm washing the dishes or making supper or painting to just listen to the book and then read when I have some spare time. The book that I'm actually reading right now is called In a Dark, Dark Wood. Uh, it's by Ruth Ware. It's kind of a mystery novel. It's kind of scary to me, in my opinion. Um, it's kind of a thriller, I guess, but it's it's pretty interesting. Um, it kind of takes a drastic turn, so if you're into thrillers, I would definitely recommend it. It's pretty good. It's also a really fantastic audiobook. 
which again I would recommend highly. So this next one I called it the woman in blue. Um, I only really used four different paints which was the transparent mixing white, titanium white, Grunbacher red, and ultramarine blue. Um, for this one I actually started with a black watercolor background um, and this one I was actually filming from the other side because after I started filming this I realized that my hand was just going to be in the way the whole time so I apologize for the first one but this second one it should be a lot better but anyways um, for the base it was just a mixture of the mixing white with the uh, ultramarinium blue and then I just went in with the ultramarinium blue for the details or the shading um, and then just a lighter version of the base or just white for the highlights so and then for the uh, sketch I actually used um, it's called well it's it's a brand the fine touch I got it from Hobby Lobby but they're kind of like an oil oil based or like waxy pencil um, and you can wipe them away but I find that they're really nice versus like a graphite pencil for sketching things sometimes since it's a lot easier to wipe away um, especially on canvas when it can be hard to sketch stuff and then try and erase because sometimes it shows through but for this one my reference photo was your typical like skin tone colors and it was a white blouse with red wine um, but I really like the idea of using blue um, it's just a personal preference I guess you could do it however you wanted to but um, I was still using you know the reference for like where the highlights should go and that type of thing so and this one took me a little over two hours to do another reason why I'm not talking in the video and I'm just doing a voiceover is because if I were to sit here and talk while I painted this video would be so much longer and I think that people's attention spans now are just too short and so I tried to make this video as short as possible while still explaining what I was doing and hopefully gives you guys some inspiration or um, just seeing how I I guess how I paint so um, for the wine and for the panties I used the Grunbacher red with the ultramarine blue um, I'm kind of trying to stay away from using black or white by itself to shade things because it just it mutes the colors so much that it's better to use their complementary color and the complementary colors are usually like red and blue, yellow and blue, or green and purple. Um, if you don't know anything about color theory, I would definitely recommend doing some research about it. Uh, it's probably going to be really helpful for you in the future and mixing colors for specific things. But if you add blue to red or red to blue, it's going to make purple. So that's why I decided to do that. Um, and then obviously since I was using a lighter color for the base for her body, I just used straight um, ultramarine blue to do the shadows. So, um, and I mean really again you could use any color. I think if I was going to use green for the shading or even the highlights, I think that that would have looked really cool too. Or even yellow because um, it would have just turned it green and I think that that would have been a really cool effect so I might try that in the future for a different painting but if I was gonna do this one again I would definitely try something like that mix it up make it different you don't always have to follow the rules thanks for watching and I hope you come back and watch another one it would be a great help